This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations viewers, Bono right back here with another episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time. In the last episode, Sly and the gang were were saved from uh, jail by Tennessee the Kid and Carmelita Fox, surprise surprise, but she's not feeling too loving as a, I don't know if they ever got married in this story, if they ever got married or if they were just a couple, but anyway, Carmelita is not feeling like a very good couple right now because of... Sly going back to his thieving ways, even though he was never me why not completely changed box. since from before. But you know what I mean, like. But right now she's mad, and we've just got to ignore that and uh, get our job done so we can defeat Toothpick and uh, and uh, kind of restore the past for now. Didn't expect a uh, gecko or whatever to stop me. Hopefully, can't we'll slow down now. We'll get there. Oh, almost there. Ah, ah. Okay. Yeah, I mean you can slow down. It's just. Oh, I guess I could have, uh... Why do I feel like oh, no, I guess you're not supposed to... I, I saw that, like, little... You can do I don't know. Pal. It's like we gotta... Okay. I don't need you... I don't need you cheering me on, Bentley. I know I can do it, because I'm Sly Cooper. That's it, Sly. Keep I don't know. I was gonna say something crude, but... Never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna this do what the arrow tells me to. How oh, dare you tell me to... Yeah, I'm surprised you're even racing because technically you're not going very fast. I mean, we're running on an iron ball, for goodness sakes. Well, you know. Gotta bust a few iron balls to win, I guess. What have we here? Little lady, I know you can't be here to shoot, because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. This guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carmelita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> Did my did my recording glitch? Because some of the dialogue wasn't said. Like it 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 uh uh I don't know, maybe you viewers maybe heard it because when I was doing my recording, the some of the dialogue wasn't being spoken. It was just quiet. I wonder if it was a mess up in the... Cause, I mean, it could have been my recording, I guess. How much score am I... Oh, I was supposed to get 100. I'm not supposed to shoot any of the... Uh... Whoops. Usually I'm okay at shooting galleries, but... Man, I am not I am not doing very well here. Well maybe I am. But uh, yeah, for whatever reason the dialogue was not like is not going through. Like, I mean you're still saying and I didn't see any skip in my um I wonder if that was a just a my PS3. What the this ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if my recording set of just for some reason cut out the dialogue, like, uh, like maybe the uh, my uh, video recorder's not working or something. I don't know. Anyway, we got all the keys we needed, so job well done, yeah. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I mean, I guess I could try to... I thought about re-recording it, but I guess it wasn't that big of it. It was just... It was weird how... But the thing is, it's because uh, if, if it's thinking what I am, it's like there's some voice dialogue, nothing, and then suddenly the voice dialogue comes back, so I don't know if that was... Like, maybe the disc is bad. I don't know where my PS3 is starting to wear out. I mean, I've had this thing for quite a while. 
But uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, folks. <laughs> that, that was weird. Like I was, I I turned when I wasn't hearing anything, and I was like, oh, did my my recording set fail? Do I have to redo this? And I looked, and it wasn't paused or frozen or anything. So I was like, because I was hearing sound effects, I was like, okay, something it's working, I guess. But yeah, let's play. But fists of flame. Sounds like some anime movie. So. Anyway, now that we've got the, uh, now that we got those keys, time to set that plan into action. I assume this is probably going to be the uh, final mission of this uh, chapter or, or this uh, section, I think. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is one of those games I didn't play ahead. Just to, I tried to. I mean, I, like I said, I remember the gist of everything that happens in this game. But uh, I don't remember certain details less than others, you know. I know which worlds I have to go to next and everything like that. Spoilers, there's going to be more worlds. Um, but, uh, yeah, I already, already did that. So, operation, operation. So, yeah, now we finally have the operation thing going. So, all right, time to start this uh, final thing. We'll fail, but I'll probably just make it a real long episode instead of cutting it like I usually would. Because we won't want to spoil ourselves uh, having a, uh, the episode in the middle of all this action, 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 reaction. There, what are we? Oops, I didn't mean to. I just meant to hit the button so I knew where to go. Oh, that's right, I forgot I had that ability that makes me run faster on the lines. Not that I need to run that fast. Well, I have a need for speed. Not too bad that the alarm's going off. I'm starting the next step. I'm starting the next job, dudes. Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold train is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out. Haven't we had to do a train section in every game of Sly Cooper? I'm trying to remember. I know in Sly, Sly 2, we had to fight a Bison or whatever, or Jean-Pierre or whatever. I thought you did that in the third game, too. But I'm trying to remember who it was we... I could swear at least that there was a train section in the third game. Man, this is what happens when you don't play a game for a long time. You forget, like, episode, or like certain segments and stuff like that. I know in 2 you do for sure. I was trying to remember if he had to do it in the first game. I don't think so. Because he went to the swamp. And all these other places. Huh. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Guess.
All right, time to uh, time to release these locks. Don't worry, Bentley. No way I'm letting these guys get away with my man. Besides, I left a sandwich in there. Stupid rat things. Don't want to forget your sandwich. Stay away from those rats. Outstanding, Murray. The man is ours. The Murray is back in the driver's seat. That actually didn't take very long at all. I was surprised. She has infinite ammo. She has a coda. You punks have no clue. Well, I mean, we are from. Actually, they are. They're probably from our time period. Now. Well, it depends on the which character. We know two. I wonder if all of his henchmen are also from the future, or if they're from this timeline. Actually, they probably are from this timeline. It would be a little odd to bring so many different people back in time. That would definitely mess up his street. But actually, we don't even... Because time travel isn't even an actual thing, we have no idea how time travel would even work, if you could even affect it like that, or if it's... I forgot the principles that some people some people have come up with for time travel. There's quite a few theories on it. Like if it was a thing that could actually occur, you know, some of the ideas that people uh, point out. Carmelita, you're shooting in my hiding. We make a great team. Now to jack that terminal. All right, time. Yeah, thank God uh, Bentley has the ability to hide. Hack attack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to use a bomb. I don't know where it is. I was like, how do you get past it? It was like, because it, it didn't... He even tells us there's a bomb to use the bomb. Uh, I forgot Bentley has the mustache and hair thing. is even on his leg little uh, thing there. Nice little detail. If I could grow, like, a really good beard or mustache, I'd probably wear something like that, but... I have I have what they call redneck syndrome. My facial hair does not grow. I mean, I can grow facial hair, but it's not good facial hair. If that makes sense. I don't know if that's a good explanation. Let's just say it doesn't. It's not like a manly man beard. You know how like a lumberjack or someone like that grows their facial hair. You know. And I'm not that much of a like person to like use bro game for my face. You know what I mean? I assume there is like facial hair like. Uh, uh, like improvement where you could get like uh, ah, uh, where you could get your like your facial to grow better. But I'm not. I don't need it that badly, you know. Of course, I'm one of those people that's like, well, I'll try to prevent the the use of buying of things with money as a very last resort. Like if it's something I have to do, I'll do it. But if not, I, I'll try to find ways to not spend that much money. You know, probably not a good way to live. What do you think about it? But it does help me with uh, everyday life. I don't have to. Uh, that I always have an extra bit of money on hand just in case something happens. You know? That's my thinking. Is that rainy day emergency type of situation? You never know. This happened to me a few times where having that extra backup was always was, was good. Good to have. It doesn't happen as often as I, I would think, but yeah. You know, if anything, I could always save that money for retirement. Not that I have a ton of money, but I have a decent amount of money saved up, just in case. So, you know, if I ever get to retirement age, cross your fingers. That was kind of dark now that I think about it. mentioning stuff like that. Let's get back to the fun stuff, shall we? Yeah, unfortunately, the bad thing is sometimes I'll, I'll go into like weird arcs with my with my thinking because I'm either like trying to find things to talk about when like there's not really much to say on screen, like it's. I wonder if that's good or bad that I can actually like just kind of run around and talk about stuff without having to worry about Bit bot beep boop bot. Oh was I huh. There we go. I'm shooting it right between the eyes. 
Bentley. Did you did you pay a writer for these jokes, Bentley? You know, no one no one, no one loves people who make puns. They're the worst type of jokes. Actually, I think memes are the worst type of jokes. But that's just me. Uh, that's the uh, well. I'm not gonna get into that. I think I've already talked about meme humor and stuff and humor in general before. <laughs> Let's not get into it. Anyway, we hacked that thing, so now we're ready to make a whistle blow. Got a whistle while we work. Whistle while we work. Why the whistles are the key? <laughs> oh God, it's my ear holes. Uh, I think I have one to go. Yes. Okay, Bentley. Glad I could help out. Twitchy, twitchy, tw trigger finger, or be a twitchy, twitch, twitch person. So I guess right now we're playing as the kid as we. So Carmelita and Bentley have done their job. Murray's done his job. Now it's time for the the, the main characters to do their job. I mean, it's like it is called Sly Cooper and Thieves in Time, not Dumb Bentley Thieves in Time, or Bentley, uh, you know, um, mechanical boogaloo or whatever. Oh, whoops! Wow. Why did I jump into that? Like, that was clearly a spotlight. I don't know why I did that. Well, that's uh, kind of pathetic. Right? No, I'm just kidding. I know there's a secret back there. I'll probably have to, like, as soon as I shut off the, uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, who the heck was supposed to pack my lollipop, huh? Because I can't find them. Do you got any idea how stressful that is? It's making me itch. Well, I might I have to retire after, after this one. It's under my armor. So, somebody better find those lollipops and get them to me fast. I mean, pronto, because I'm not happy. And when I'm not happy, you're not happy. I was just letting some of the dialogue run. I didn't know uh, if that would change the next Faster, scene. Murray. You got it, chum! Keep her steady! Bullseye! Great job, Tennessee! We'll keep this safe for now. Now that we got the gold, time to deal with Toothpick. Well, it's not like we weren't going to keep going forward. You don't have to tell me that, Bentley. Oi. Actually, where is Sly in all this, anyway? I know I'm doing my own thing. Or people don't talk about this afterwards, so obviously it's not for the record books. So... Maybe something untoward just happens to you t after this uh, Tennessee. Who knows? Well, obviously you survived long enough to. Oh, uh, you already you never said that before. You're repeating yourself. Thing. I don't remember. I didn't remember some levels having multiple 
secrets. Now, now we're going to have missed in the levels. Sure, likes to talk, that's for sure. Faster, Murray! You got it, Chum! Keep her steady! That's it, Murray! Come to Daddy! Okay, Tennessee, we'll grab the rest once we stop the train! I just realized they're using a suction cup. You just said that. Man, I, I don't mind voice dialogue, but if you start repeating the same stuff over and over and over again, it gets a little annoying. Lunar taught me that one, <laughs> or the PS1 version of that game. Anyway. Why don't you bring your little runt self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff? Oh, blast you! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung, and you are done! Oh, am I? My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Gidget! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. Where were you during all this, Sly? Jeez. Letting your, cut, letting your ancestor get a... Break out the tailbird costume, Sly! Watch those lasers, Sly! I walked... <laughs> Why did I do that? Lathers? We're having fun with lathers. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tailbird costume, Fly? Watch those lasers fly! Why does everyone use lasers? I don't know if people like lasers. Home the way! <laughs> Come on, Toothpick! I'm right here! Whoops. Oh, oh well, I, I guess that. I could have to get the Bang, bang, bang! Maybe you should talk less and aim more! <laughs> Yeah. I was waiting for him to stop like throwing grenades or if it's out of them. Yeah, definitely don't roll the ball around when you're trying to. Whoa. Holy cow. Oops, I accidentally turned on my head. I didn't mean to. Dang it. I'll buy it to redo this fight, yeah. I, 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 I was taking too much damage. Man, yeah, talk about that. Not off to a good start. Whoa. Is that the best you got? Man, this something weird happened because I swear the color got distorted a little bit. Right, let's try paying attention this time. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't know why I was just letting myself get steamrolled by this guy. Let him squash me. There Now you're gonna make spin. Now you're gonna make some like Pecos Bill tornadoes or something like that. Yes, we have to avoid twisters. Who do? Okay. Well. Ah, come on, man. Wow, that's kind of aggressive when you think about it, throwing it. Wait, can we? Oh, okay, we can swing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have done that. He's just a boy. He's just a... Whoop. Ah. Yeah, you gotta... Okay. Okay, I didn't. Like, they immediately exploded on me. Man, I am not. I am just. Ah, oh, man, I'm just. 
Not, uh, not doing too well on the second bar. Taking too much damage. I don't know, hitting Crow Big should have been a twist, uh, like, should have been an interesting twist, but I mean, we knew he could do that, but I don't know, like, I think he should have looked a bit different, if that makes sense. Oh, dang it. Uh, like, I don't know, like, maybe he got more monstrous than just being big. No way to jump these twisters. You have to avoid them. I mean, you can jump the twisters. The little, now these are, you have to like, uh, nuts. Nuts! Man. I'm not even gonna get that much health. I probably got to redo this thing. At least you get some healing from doing it, but not very much. Yeah, I'll probably end up having to redo this fight. We'll, we'll see though. Did you forget your passes? Oh well. Oh come on. I couldn't expect him to fight fair. Ah, no, I should have. I knew something bad was happening when I saw this. I was like, oh no. About to, I think I have to run over those. Uh, Maybe you should talk less and eat more. There we go. I have to stop with these. Yeah, I saw those and I was about to say, oh, get on the thing. And I took too long, so no one. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, I, 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 sorry there's a little distraction. Oh, come on. I got distracted by something on my computer and I was like, uh oh. Well, I actually thought my emulator crashed again, so I had to look at my computer and it was just some stupid update thing. Probably had to redo the fight again because yeah, I'm taking too much damage. I should dodge these whirlwinds. But, but Sly said I couldn't jump. Or Sly said I couldn't jump over them. Well, I can't because I'm terrible at a uh, terrible at platforming. But you know, you look just like a can't stay in one place. Gotta keep moving. If you get the tire again, it's too bad you can't shoot. Uh oh, no, well no. <laughs> what? Well, I was on the ball though. Oh man, I took too long. <laughs> Dang it. What's up with me and having trouble with the, uh, um, why am I suck? I'm just gonna jump off. This oh, I can't jump. Okay, I'm just gonna let myself get killed. God, that was terrible. What is wrong with me today? Focus. Come on, man. This isn't that hard. I'm just being, I'm just being a dork. Oh, nope. Oh, he didn't. I was about to say he didn't throw them, but he did. I just didn't see him. There we go. Oh. There we go. Jeez. Oh, no. Nope. There we go. Yeah, I was like, what is up with me today? Like, I, like last time I saw this one, I've just been failing like 50 times in a row. It's just... It's a bit heinous. My, uh, my reputation as being an okay gamer is... Uh, it's just on, on, on the line, man. Now, I don't, I don't put that much thought into, like, being a good gamer, quote-unquote. I just play games that have fun, I never competition-wise. But I, it's always... I'm always one of the proponents of, of self-deprecating humor. You know, where you're just like... I think it's just because it allows you to make fun of people more often if you make fun of yourself, because that kind of... I wouldn't say a free pass, but you're... You know, people don't get pissed off at you much. Wasn't part of the plan. Why, you have to get off that train. Jump to the van. Murray, hit. 
Hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this! What in our nation are they doing? I was just wondering where that gold had got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? Well, looks like the Wild West was won and fun as we beat Toothpick and secure the treasure, but now we've gone off to a land, well, maybe not quite down under, but somewhere where the the snow is snow is clean and clear and it's cold and I don't like snow it, it's too cold gets everywhere no way that's sand sorry <laughs> no I like snow but uh, I don't live in a place that has a 24 7 things weren't going very well we landed somewhere from the looks of it prehistoric I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave. Permanently. Well, if Tony Stark can build a, a part, uh, like an eternal parts thing with scraps in a cave, I think we could do one up better. Well, what will we be able to do? Will we be able to get out of this prehistoric heck hole and uh, onto the future? And what about Carmelita? Can we repair the bonds, uh, repair the bonds that the, that the two lovebirds once had long ago? Find out next time in the next episode of Sly 4, Thieves in Time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.